Greetings, welcome, and thanks so much for being here. It's Christian of Standing Stones Healing, and I'm just popping on just for a moment because um, I have some things to share. You know, I was just in the Reiki Business Collective, and there was a question about how to move from content that is just inspirational quotes to actually content that has more value and that isn't just inspirational quotes. You know, when we are posting content for our Reiki business, this is something that we can kind of fall into the trap of, fall into the trap of, of uh, just generating a bunch of inspirational quotes and just sending inspirational quotes out there in the hopes that they are going to inspire people and um, magically help them to understand who we are, how we can help them, and uh, what we do. But when we can move from that kind of content to content that is more powerful, it's going to be more powerful for our business. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with inspiration. I mean, inspiration is a very good thing, right? Inspiration is a wonderful thing. And so absolutely spread the inspiration. Let's all spread the inspiration and spread more and more of the inspiration. But inspirational quotes are only going to go so far for your Reiki business. And I'm going to encourage you to post content that has more value and that is more helpful for your audience. So what does this look like? Well, I have a recent Build Your Reiki Business podcast episode about content that may be helpful for you. And I talk about in that podcast, the content hierarchy, where video is very valuable. And so on video, you can see me, you can hear me, you can get a feel for my mannerisms, my personality, and get an idea of who I am. Like it or leave it, right? <laughs> Just because you put yourself out there on something like video doesn't mean that everyone is going to like it. There may very well be watching someone watching this at some point who says, I don't like this. I don't like this guy. I don't like this message and I'm done. And they close out, click on the X and move on to the next thing. No problem. Not everyone is going to like all of the stuff that you put out. Not everyone is going to like everything that you say. And that's okay. There are billions of people in the world and there are at least a million that aren't going to like what you do. <laughs> So don't let that stop you. But video in the content hierarchy is very valuable because people can really get a good feel for you and who you are and how you show up. Now, what kind of video? Video where you are um, offering some uh, encouragement, some advice, some suggestions. So for your Reiki business, they, this may be video just talking about Reiki talking about your Reiki journey, um, talking about explaining Reiki and how you explain Reiki, talking about um, the ways in which you conduct your sessions. You know, every practitioner is different and brings their own personality to their sessions. So just talking about how you do your sessions is helpful for people to know, to see you talking about it, and to get an idea for what you do. And so um, just going on video talking about that is a great way to get some content that moves away from just posting inspirational quotes. Um, Another way is through audio. And so if you are like, I don't like video, I don't like the way I look, I look terrible. I mean, my hair is always a mess. I know I got that problem all the time. My hair is always a mess. I can't go on video. Then what, Christian? Well, first of all, I want to encourage you to get over it. <laughs> you know, 
I ain't so pretty myself and I still show up all the time on video. The more you do it, the better you get at it. The more you do it, the better you get at it. And so you're not going to get any good at it if you don't do it. If you never go on video, you're always going to suck at going on video. <laughs> so my first encouragement to you is to get over it and give it a try. But then if you don't like it, it doesn't work for you, it doesn't resonate with you, again, practice, 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 there's always audio. Audio is also really helpful because people, maybe they can't see you, but they can hear you. They can hear your voice, they can hear your inflection, your tone, and they can get an idea for who you are and how you show up. We can learn a lot about someone's personality just through hearing them. We don't need to see someone in order to get a feel for who they are. And then third of all, of course, is the written word. And this is last on the content hierarchy because Oftentimes, it will take more written words for someone to get to know you than it does videos or audio. But don't discount the written word. Words indeed are very powerful, and we can get to know a practitioner from just what they post in terms of their words. And so if you uh, just write posts and write words, that'll work too. But the idea here is still the same with all of these types of content is to be providing information, to be um, helping people, to be offering um, encouragement, um, and to just, you know, be, be there as uh, someone who is able to um, teach and offer value. You know, a lot of marketing now is about teaching, period. Right now, I am doing the exact thing of offering you encouragement, teaching, giving advice, and this is a piece of content. Yes, this video is a piece of content, and this video right now is a Facebook Live. I'm going to upload it to YouTube, so it'll be on YouTube, and people will see it there. And so this one piece of content is a way for people to get to know me, to, again, see whether or not they even like me. Maybe someone might be like, no thanks, pal. Aklima, thanks very much. I appreciate that. We could live with one million people not liking us because the planet has billions. For sure, I love it. Thank you so much for that great encouragement. We could live with a million people not liking us. I could handle that. <laughs> I'm sure the count is much higher. But anyway, this one piece of content will give you an idea of my personality, how I show up, you know, maybe how I teach, um, the kind of um, personality that you can expect if you take a course with me or have a session with me or et cetera, et cetera. And so this one way of showing up, this one piece of content is just one way for you to get to know me and for us to get uh, others or to help others get to know us. And that's really what it is about. Because your clients and potential clients want to get to know you. You know, if you think about it, Reiki is a very intimate service. If you are offering Reiki sessions, you know that it takes a lot oftentimes for someone to feel comfortable with us to lay on a table, close our eyes, get all meditation-y or whatever, um, and have someone like wave their hands around us or even put their hands on us. That can be kind of scary. And so for some people, it takes a lot for them to get to that point. And so let's help them. Let us help people feel comfortable with us. That's really what it's all about. Let's help people feel comfortable with us, to get to know us, to say, oh, this person knows what they're talking about. This person has 
good advice and thoughts and value. Oh, I resonate with this person. And if they say, oh, I don't like this person, if they're one of the one million and they're like, I don't like this person, then that's good too. We've helped them as well because we've helped them to realize that we are not the right fit for them and they can go off and find someone else who is. And so those three ways of getting out there with our content, video, audio, and the written word are indeed very powerful. But yes, let's take them away from just posting inspirational quotes and let's offer value. Let's offer um, inspiration in terms of knowledge. Let's offer information about what we do and how we do it. And so um, while those inspirational posts have their place, one of the things that's maybe not so great about them is that they aren't offering any real information about you. You know, anyone can post a quote that says, uh, a meme, a picture that says, Reiki is powerful, Reiki will relax you, Reiki is healing. But that says nothing about you as a practitioner. That says nothing about the way that you show up. That says nothing about how you can help others. So yes, it's okay to use those inspirational quotes, throw them into your mix, but I encourage not relying on them and I encourage moving away from them and moving to something that is more educational, helpful, and valuable to someone who is trying to get to know you. You know, something else that I also want to encourage you to do in your content is to talk about what you offer. And so if you thought, wow, this is pretty interesting stuff, Christian, thanks for the information on content. First of all, I got a podcast that talks about the content hierarchy, um, an episode of the Build Your Reiki Business uh, podcast talks all about this content hierarchy in these three ways of um, using content, video, audio, and uh, words. So it talks about that content hierarchy. I'll drop the link to that video, to that um, podcast episode so that you can tune in. Um, but not only do I have a podcast episode on it, I also have a whole program on it. Well, it's part of the program. The Build Your Reiki Business Program. Yes, the Build Your Reiki Business Program. I don't know if you've heard or not, but I got a whole program on building your Reiki business. And I will say that all of the information on content that I just mentioned, plus, 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 and then some, is part of the Build Your Reiki Business program. As a matter of fact, I got a whole workshop recording called Be a Content Boss that talks not only about the content hierarchy, but also about what kind of content to create, the kinds of stuff to talk about in your content, ways to get your content out there. I give you five ways to generate content. So if you are like, I just don't even know what to do, Christian, I give you five exercises that you can use to generate so many ideas for content that you ain't going to run out anytime soon. And that is just one bonus of the whole Build Your Reiki Business program. So that's a one and a half, almost two hour recording on content. And that's just one of three bonuses for the whole six module Build Your Reiki Business program. So I'm going to break it down for you right now before I log off. Module number one is all about determining your Reiki business model. So what kind of Reiki business do you want to have? Because the kind of Reiki business you can have is as infinite as Reiki itself. We often think that um, a Reiki business is just about seeing clients having Reiki sessions, but no, it's about all other kinds of things as well. And so you can uh, even not see clients in your Reiki business. Yes, there are Reiki business owners who don't even see clients at all. 
And so we talk all about your Reiki business model in module number one and really expanding your ideas of what a Reiki business can look like. Module number two is all about mindset. Mindset is so important when it comes to our Reiki business. And so there's a whole module all about it. As a matter of fact, that module on mindset breaks it down into values, vision, mission, and then mindset. So it's a whole big module on all kinds of ways to help you bust through some of your challenges, um, your limiting beliefs. By the way, I talk about this in the Build Your Reiki Business program. I don't like the term limiting beliefs because any belief that we have is a limiting belief. I'm gonna let you let that sink in for a minute. Any belief that we have is a limiting belief. All beliefs are limiting beliefs. I talk about I talk about it in the Build Your Reiki Business program. So that's module number two. Module number three is all about creating your business formally. Now this is specifically for U.S. based businesses. So if you have a U.S. based Reiki business, it's about determining do you want or need an LLC? What's the difference between that and a DBA? How do you set those up? So that's all covered in module number three. Module number four is about money. It's about separating your finances, how to do that, why that's important, how to get an EIN. And if you're like EIN, WTF, don't worry, I explain it in the program. <laughs> and how to do all of those important money things. I also give you a, a very easy to use spreadsheet for your budget so you can start with the budgeting right away. Module number four, wait, that was module number four on money. <laughs> module number five is about client relations, all about insurance. So I explain the different kinds of insurance for Reiki business, help you determine what's the best insurance for you, offer you some um, suggested Reiki business insurers that you might wanna check out and learn more about. So it's all about insurance for that part of the module. Module number five also includes scheduling. And so if you're like, I just don't even know how to uh, set up my online scheduling system, don't worry. I talk to you about how to do it. Um, and I also offer some uh, common schedulers that you might wanna check out to see which ones resonate with you. I also offer a couple ones that not many people know about that are actually really great. Believe me, I've done a lot of research on scheduling. <laughs> I've done a lot of research on all of these topics. I've also lived all of these topics too and have a lot of experience on them as well. Um, uh, module number five also deals with intake forms. So if you're like, what do I put on an intake form? How do I create an intake form? Don't worry, I got you covered. We talk all about intake forms and what to include, what not to include on an intake form. And then module number six is all about marketing. Marketing, such a huge topic. So yes, indeed, we talk about content, but we also talk about your website. So how to set a website up. If you have no clue how to do it, don't worry. I take you through the whole process, all of the steps and walk you through it. We talk about social media. So the big social media outlets, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram and um, things to consider across all kinds of platforms. So much to say about marketing. We talk about in-person and online marketing, and I offer you some processes, processes that I have personally used and have had success with to help you really get out there and market. Yes, you can just steal my processes. And then there are bonuses, that Be a Content Boss Workshop 
bonus that I mentioned, as well as a website walkthrough bonus that explains to you just what to put on your website, and social media secrets. I have lots of secrets to share with you about social media, and indeed I share them all in mod in uh, bonus number three social media secrets and so there you have it finally you are able to schedule two individual sessions with me for one-on-one -on -one discussions of your Reiki business journey. So that is all included for a very incredible special price of $333. You can learn more and register right now at standingstoneshealing.com slash build. Sending so many blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business.